All right, this is going to be a little guide on how to put this flex oval box together. I've already cut it out and I brought the whole piece out that I cut it out of. So just a word of warning, don't make your sheets too big so it'll be hard to handle. So just make them a little bit bigger than your cutout. And then this is a pretty fragile piece, but the uh, outside border keeps it all together kind of gather so they won't break. I've already sanded my two interior pieces. So then all you do is just take it apart. And then you're gonna pick which side is your pretty side and this side is my pretty side on the outside and I'm gonna put these together. Now I've designed this where these are really, really tight. So a lot of times I'll take a piece of wood, hang it over the workbench, and just gently tap the joints together. I've designed it tight so they will not need glue. And then before you would ever put your bottom and your top on, you're going to want to put your interior pieces. So you just kind of slide them in. And I made these extremely tight too. I don't like using glue on places that it's going to be hard to sand. So these are really tight. They fit really snug. And once you put the top on, they should not need any gluing whatsoever. Now these pieces are designed, the thickness of the top is going to fit down in there as a recess. So I've got those in pretty good. I'm going to tap them with a hammer. And if you're wondering what this is, it's just a, it's actually a router mat to keep stuff from moving around, but I use it for sanding. It kind of cushions. So Especially on the second piece, you're going to have to put it at an angle. Get one side started, kind of bend it over to the other side. Get your tabs in there. And it really should do both sides at one time but anyway so there's your box so far and then I'm going to make a second video on putting the bottom and the top on alright this is the second part about how to put this oval box on I've already glued the bottom on and I sanded it I actually glued it with CA glue which is basically super glue but uh, made by Satellite City and they also make an air, uh, a accelerant that will make it dry like in a split second. But on this demonstration to make it easier and I think actually cleaner, cleaner I'm just going to use Type Bond 2. It's a yellow wood glue. I just put a little bit of dab on there. And what I'm going to do is just use a matchstick and just lightly hit everywhere that... I need it to be glued to. Just a little bit will do you. And uh, so you're going to get all the areas. Like I said in the previous video, the other parts just kind of snap together. So you don't really need to glue them together. This is going to kind of hold it. I'm not going to put any glue on the uh, on the flex joint because it would be more visible and the good thing about this you can just kind of spread it out and it's not going to be visible uh, all your yellow glues today dry clear and they can be wiped off with water when you use the, the CA glue or the super glue uh, you're going to have to sand it off maybe put a little bit more on this side And that's all the glue it would take. Now this is a little bit tricky to put together, but you're going to pick your best side up. You're going to start from one side and kind of give it a little bit of pressure pushing it that away. And with both your fingers kind of just, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but I'm just, I'm making the flex joint accept this piece. And there you have it, it's already done. 
uh, you could take a damp rag if you've got any uh, glue left over and just lightly wipe it. It doesn't hurt the effectiveness of the glue. I did a pretty good job of not getting any excess. Uh, if you have any kind of weight, you could actually put a weight on top of it. I would maybe suggest taking a piece of wax paper. One, the glue wouldn't stick to it. And two, like my weights are pretty rusty. And just let it sit there for 15 minutes. The glue actually takes 24, 24 hours to completely dry. But after 15 minutes, it's set up enough where as long as you don't put any pressure on it, it'll hold. Now, like, this is a little bit design, different design. So when you get the file, you can change this completely up. Uh, I kind of like this. It's going to make the pins and pencils kind of separate. Maybe put a scissor in one of them. And uh, on the front side, you could engrave anything you wanted. Uh, personalize it for a person. But it's a pretty neat uh, pencil holder.